What up, everybody? Captain Pretzel here. Today, I was going to try to do a set analysis of Triple R versus Absent Page, versus one of his sets versus Absent Page. And to give some context here, I've been meaning to do some Kirby set analyses for a while. I was primarily going to focus on basically three different types of analyses. I was wanting to anal analyze the playstyles of historic Kirby mains like Triple R, Serial Rabbit, Dodger, uh, as well as some of the new newer Kirby mains or stronger Kirby secondaries like Ginger, Kuya, Papa. I've also been meaning to analyze a lot of sets of top players playing Kirby for whatever reason. So there's a few famous games of Axe playing Kirby, uh, Mango, Armada, Leffen, Kirby Kaze, all these players just breaking out Kirby for whatever reason, but their playstyles might have some value in them, and I thought they might be fun to analyze. And last, but perhaps most importantly, I was hoping to do some analyses in the future of some up-and-coming Kirby players, specifically those people in the Kirby Discord. So the reason I'm doing all of this is, you know, for, for two reasons. It's for me to better understand how other Kirby players uh, use the character, maybe comparing and contrasting to my own playstyle, as well as providing information about what I feel is the strengths and weaknesses of specific players' playstyles with the character. And I, I guess I, I said two reasons, but there's like a third reason. I also like to help out the other Kirby players who may be just trying to pick up the character or learn more about the character and analyze, like, you know, what they're doing right, what they could be improving on, uh, what they should be paying attention for as far as their habits or their opponent habits. So all of that good stuff. So with all that context in mind, this is just kind of a test video. Uh, it's going to be a little bit rough to start with. I know that intro is already rough. I'm sure the actual analysis is going to be rough, but... Hopefully, by the time I get to the end of this recording and the end of this analysis session, I'll have kind of a game plan in place for future analysis videos. And like I said before, I'm going to try to mix in previous and current Kirby mains, people who have Kirby secondaries or just like Kirby for fun sometimes, and some up-and-coming Kirby players who have specifically requested me to analyze their sets. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get started. Uh, Triple R versus Absent Page, and I'm going to go ahead and mute the video immediately here. I'm going to fast forward till that game actually starts. So this video is like five years old at this point, and Triple R, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is one of the, is probably the greatest Kirby player of all time. He, even five years ago, he was still doing stuff that today I'm still finding like, wow, that's so smart, that's so intelligent, this guy is so good at this game. So it's always a pleasure to watch him. I haven't actually watched a lot of Triple R VODs in recent memory, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to at least offer some kind of insight in what he's doing here. So I already missed a good chunk of the match, so I'll just go ahead and start over. Uh, so Absent Page, for his part, is a really good top Fox player. I don't think he was top 100 when this video came out, but he is nowadays, and he's basically had Triple R's number for a bit, but it's a very good indication of the state of the Kirby Fox matchup. Uh, back when Triple R played, so without actually distracting from the match anymore. Uh, tr Triple R is not really a very technical Kirby. He is a very smart Kirby, though, and he does what he can uh, with Kirby's limited movement option and his own limited test skills. So right there, you see he went for a down throw tech chase on the platform, and he got a few re-grabs, which those re-grabs are extremely hard to get, but uh, they are possible on reaction at, like, 30 to 40 percent, and then he got, you know, just kind of Walloped by Fox there. That's just going to happen once in a while. Does a run-up down smash? I don't know if I necessarily like that decision. I'm actually going to pause and catch a break. I should probably be pausing a lot more often than I am, because right now I just kind of let the whole first minute play out. But uh, I'll try to pause at key moments and rewind a bit, so I don't have to feel as rushed and talking too fast, and I'll be able to better identify stuff. So... He's doing some retreating forward aerials, missed a grab, missed a wave dash, uh, haven't said the best of us. Trying to wall Fox out with back airs, that works a couple of times, but once he's not biting, you kind of want to dash in more, and he does exactly that. Goes for the up tilt, 
Uh, puts out some fair hitboxes while recovering, something that I've like blatantly copied from him. I do that as well. It's a very good option. Uh, it doesn't really matter what hitboxes, as long as you're putting out some good hitboxes. Um, it makes it a lot more difficult for spaces to approach. Right there, absent page kind of SD. It's unfortunate. He goes to a platform, triple R back airs, and he misspaces a forward air and gets up smashed for it. Uh, so this is all pretty uh, understandable Kirby stuff. I like that Triple R is mixing up dash dancing right outside of Fox's range, mixing up his rolls in, his wave dashes in and out. He kind of, Absent Page just kind of bled another stock there. I don't think he really got gimp so much as he didn't hit his up B fast enough, but uh, we definitely take those as Kirby players. Uh, Triple R trying to ca crouch cancel Fox's up smash, Absent Page recognizing this and immediately down tilting. Uh, landing fair to recover. Tri yeah, Absent Page is a bit fishing for a smash at this point. Uh, Triple R, I'm assuming, was going for a Rising Bear, Falling Bear, and a Full Hop there, which is a pretty good option by Kirby in general, but, um, you gotta be careful about doing it too much. I don't think he's been overdoing it, necessarily, but Absent Page is very quick to exploit anything he can. Uh, he's a very precise and technical fox, even more so nowadays, but even back when this was recorded five years ago or so, uh, he's always been very good at that. So, tr Triple R trying to make it back to the stage, uh... Absent Page grabbing ledge, kind of holding his ground, trying to bear from ledge. It's basically how you should be edge guarding Kirby if you want the more aggressive option. Kirby can kind of dance around it sometimes, but Fox can make it very difficult. Uh, the best option for Fox there is actually just to fire Fox stall and re-grab ledge until Kirby is forced to burn his recovery. Uh, here we see Absent Page missing yet another ledge dash. Uh, not happy about that, clearly. Uh, so Triple R is playing a mostly defensive game. He's mixing up some random aggression, and that's basically how he's getting his opening, and that's kind of how you have to play against Fox sometimes, especially if Absent Page's caliber. Uh, tries to wait out Fox, probably baiting out a dash attack or an up smash or something, Triple, or Absent Page not biting. Um, Triple R was trying to wait out F the Firefox and decide whether he wanted to down tilt or go for a, a back air, but at that range, it's just not reactable. Um, so I don't know if I agree with that decision necessarily. Grab, goes for a grab, uh, calls out a tech in place with an up tilt, but Absent Page techs away. Fox should always, almost always, tech away, unless he's, like, right up against the edge, and even then, uh, teching away as far away from Kirby as possible is almost always the best option, because Kirby just doesn't have a lot of options. Um, and Triple R, uh, using Ferris to boost his recovery, getting back, gets back to stage. Uh... I'm actually paying a lot more triple attention to Triple R than Absent Page, but I probably should be paying a little bit more attention to Absent Page. Uh, so they're both in a last stock situation. Absent Page is understandably shooting a bit of lasers until he feels comfortable. I'm actually really surprised and impressed that Absent Page got that tech there. He could have very easily died if he messed it up. And Triple R kind of gambled and lost with his recovery there. I don't necessarily agree with the decision to recover high there. Uh, or at least slightly above the stage, I probably personally would have recovered a little lower, but Absent Page could have just as easily covered that with a single Firefox Golden Bear. So at the end of the day, it was a mix-up situation, and uh, it was going to be hard to close out. <laughs> Triple R goes for the platform cancel dash attack grab. Hilarious. Doesn't get really much off of it, but man, does it look funny. Triple R not putting any hitboxes out there and recovering high. Uh, super don't agree with that. Uh, predictably gets hit for it. Fortunately, does not get shine spiked. Uh, Fox goes to top platform. Triple R puts a well-spaced up air out. It's all very good stuff. Uh, ooh, he gets the bear. I think he should die. Uh, he probably didn't want to get that uh, F-smash there, and, you know, he gets burned by the fire fox, which, again, happens a lot because Kirby doesn't really have a lot of disjoint. A, a, a little bit more smooth movement there could have probably helped him close out the edge guard if he just wave dashed the ledge and then got an invincible back air off, but not... Too bad. Uh, Triple R is extremely stuck in the corner and scared, and like most Kirby, I do this exact thing. If I'm like stuck in the corner against Fox like that, I just hold shield until I get hit, and even if Fox is just not approaching. So, uh, up tilt up air is a confirm there. Uh, Triple R generally likes to stay on stage in edge guard and doesn't really like to go off stage all that much, is something that I've noticed from watching a lot of his videos. He's a fairly safe edge guarder. Um, goes for low risk, medium reward edge guard. Doesn't really go out there unless he's absolutely certain he can get the kill. Uh, which I guess is another difference between his play style and mine. Like, I like to go out there and just go for medium risk or high risk into extremely high reward edge guards whenever possible. But Triple R plays it safe, and, you know, it works out for him in a lot of situations. Uh, 
Fox putting some drill shine pressure, trying to uh, wall Triple R out, mix him up between up tilt, spaced uh, short hop bears and whatnot. I'm seeing Absent Page do a lot of air dodges, which is a little confusing to me to get out of Kirby's pressure. I guess it's not the worst option, but it's certainly not the best. Triple R gets a really good, really smart up air there. Absent Page just gives up the stock. He probably could have tried to recover, but Triple R being as adept at edge guarding as he is, he might not have made it. Uh, so more dash dancing from Fox here. Uh, Triple R is just trying to hop around platforms, trying to get back to the ground so he could play neutral the way he wants to. Uh, man, Triple Absent Page is missing a lot of uh, wave dashes. So I actually want to. This is like the first thought that I really want to rewind because this is something that a lot of foxes do. Um, so when you are in a position like this, um. And Fox is doing his Firefox here. It's extremely hard for him to get to ledge. It's not impossible, but it's extremely hard. Fox is more often than not either going to come straight in or go high. And you can see that if you go frame by frame, Triple R is again trying to react to Fox's direction, which again, I super don't agree with because you cannot react from this close. Uh, so he does try to run back. I'm assuming he was either trying to outspace it and get a grab or try to turn around and get a short hop bear out. Um, but regardless, he mistimed it. If you mistime this, you're going to get burned almost 100% of the time. Fox can almost always follow up out of it. Uh, Triple R got lucky that it sent him really far away, and Absent Page wasn't quite ready to get his up air there. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not possible to cover that in reaction, and Triple R likes to go for that kind of stuff a lot from what I've seen. Um, anyway, back to neutral here. Um... And we're kind of just seeing this pattern of Triple R trying to aggress on Absent Page, Absent Page stuffing him out a bit, and then Triple R trying to reset neutral while Absent Page puts uh, a, a bit of a wall out in terms of, you know, short hot bears, uh, down tilts in place, up tilts in place, whatnot. Uh, so Triple R actually is up, so Absent Page probably isn't going to camp him as heavily as he was being camped the last time. It goes for a get-up attack. It's a pretty good mix-up if Fox gets a little bit impatient. Um, goes for an up air there, probably an accidental dash attack, trying to space out some bears again. Uh, Absent Page getting the tech chase. A uh, single bear will actually finish Absent Page off. Not the best DI I've ever seen from Fox, but... It wasn't terrible either. It was pretty close to kill percent. Uh, he almost SD'd and shortens there. Um, Triple R is just kind of dancing back and forth. The platform trying to get down. So I'm just actually going to go back to that. Not necessarily anything particularly interesting uh, with this situation in particular, but like just like a general kind of thing. If Kirby is on a platform above Fox... It can be really hard for him to get down. You can see Triple R kind of tries to get off almost as soon as he gets up there. He, like, I think he tries to do, like, a short hop aerial but accidentally full hops, immediately corrects it with the wave action, tries to get back down because he knows that's in a terrible position to be against Fox. You want to be ideally to the left or the right of Fox as much as possible and spend as little time above or below him as possible, uh, particularly being above Fox is bad. Um... I actually really like this kind of sequence here, so I'm going to try to go back and break that down step by step as well. So Triple R recovers. He punishes a very greedy up smash by Absent Page. Goes for a grab. Absent Page waves his back. He shields. Uh, Absent Page kind of dashes into place. He stuffs him out with an F tilt, which he's not a knockdown percent, so it's not going to do much, but it is going to disrupt his movement. Down tilts to disrupt his movement again. Uh, not sure what's up with that up uh, near. Uh, another greedy up smash into a spot dodge, and that's kind of like the ideal scenario. If, if Fox goes for an up smash and you can read out that spot dodge, you can usually either get a fair or a bear. He gets some knockdown. Absent Page is mashing A and accidentally is a get-up attack, and Triple R goes in for a landing hitbox fair into... I probably would have tilted here, but Jab is also a pretty good option for mixing up Fox's timing. Um, so that's overall a low-key, really smart play by Triple R. That could have netted him a lot if he was just a little more prepared to follow up after that jab, or maybe hit him with a tilt instead of a jab. Uh, but anyway, loses the stock. <sighs> up throw, tech chase on platform. He does wait out and read the tech roll away, so that's another thing to note. Um, if Fox decided to, like, get up attack or tech in place here, you cannot react to it. The only reason that Triple R was, was able to react to this and hit that up there was because Fox basically picked the worst option and did roll away. 
um, which is just barely reactable. In fact, like now even looking at that, Fox probably had time to shield or shine or spot dodge. I'm going to actually replay that one more time. Just go frame by frame here. So, yeah. Up throw, misses the tech. Tech's in. Triple R waits for the tech roll before deciding to jump back. Oh, yeah. Fox absolutely had time to shine here. Absent page was just a little showing his uh, action. You can actually see him in this turnaround animation, animation a bit there. Uh, so, yeah. Actually kind of sloppy play by Absent Page, but also still, not to discount, very good play by Triple R. Um, up throw, up air, goes for the platform drop, up air, I think, I don't know if Triple R knows how to shield drop, I don't think that shield dropping was super big in 2014 or 15, whenever this happened, but platform drop is still pretty good for Kirby, I don't know how to shield drop, uh, platform dropping is only like 2 or 3 flames sl slower if you do it optimally, um, and I do like platform drop up airs myself, so I think that's a good decision there. Um, just a lot of dash dancing in neutral, again, Triple R is down a game, so he really doesn't want to drop this, so he's picking some... Extra safe moves for Kirby. Uh, tries to wave dash back and tilt, which I think is actually the correct option in this situation against Fox um, at this percent. F tilt will come out very fast and hit Fox in a, into a significantly bad position, either off stage or across the stage and into knockdown and set up for a tech opportunity. Uh, but regardless, Absent Page closes out the game and they go back to Fountain. Uh, so. In advancing reverse bear, do like that option. It's not super great at this low percent, but it is damage nonetheless. Uh, Triple R is not a big wall tacker, to be honest, so that kind of recovery from him scares me every time he tries to do it, but he makes it back safely. Uh, tries to go for... Now, okay, I really like that up air, actually. So that's a really smart move. So he... I th he, as can't, you know, he doesn't quite edge cancel there, but he does get to the end of the platform and immediately does a runoff up air, which is... Oh, no, he goes for the grab, and then... Or is that a jab? I actually couldn't see. I'm going to rewind one more time. But I think he, like, after accidentally, or maybe intentionally jabbing at the edge of the platform, he goes for an immediate runoff up air, which is the fastest way to get off an up air hitbox. Really smart. Um, if Absent Patriot was DIing any other direction, it probably would have sent him at least a tiny bit off stage, but he was floor hugging, so he ended up just going into knockdown. Still some good damage. Uh, calls out the approach with a grab. <sighs> I actually don't think I've ever consciously recalled seeing Triple R go for this before, and this is, again, something that I like to do, but he goes for the double hit fair, uh, intentionally missing the triple hit, and then goes for a bear immediately, just barely missing it, which would have put Fox in a terrible situation off stage and probably could have given a setup an edge guard opportunity, so really good idea. It's uh, unfortunate it just wasn't able to get it out fast enough. Um, and, yeah... So he gets shine spiked, and that's the end of it. Uh, let's see. Reset to neutral. Drill shine pressure by Fox. Uh, it seems like Absent Page really values drill shine pressure in this matchup, and it is honestly pretty good against Kirby. It's good against a lot of characters, but like especially Kirby can't really do much against drill shine and then run away. Good shortened by Absent Page to avoid the detailed. Um, and once again, we see that trip. Triple R kind of gets stuck on the platform, just trying to find a way down. Um, Fox is actually one of the hardest characters to get down against, other than perhaps, like, Marth. It might, there may be a couple other characters that are hard to get down against, but Kirby just, in general, does not want to be on platforms when Fox is not also on the platforms. Uh, so Absent Page mixing up between some hit-and-run advances and retreats and just shooting a few lasers. Which is basically how Fox should be playing this matchup optimally, in my opinion. If you it aggro in too much, you risk losing neutral way more often than you need to. If you camp too much, you risk just not really doing enough damage, and if Kirby gets one solid hit on you, you can like make up for like eating 10 lasers. Uh, so Triple R going for back airs. That's one particularly aggressive edge guard. I don't really necessarily agree with the idea to go for fair. Um, Absent Page has been going to the ledge more often than not, and has not been recovering high, so I would have liked to see Triple R recover just a little bit lower. Uh, but in the heat of the match, it's hard to, like, be too critical of that, so. Uh, gets a knockdown with F-Tilt, go goes for a run-up down tilt. Um, F-Tilt may have been a better option there, just because it's a little safer on shield, though down tilt can shield poke. F-Tilt probably could have done more damage if it did connect. Um, but as far as pressure, I think down tilt's fine. Goes for an edge cancel, Dare doesn't quite get the edge cancel. Again, he's recovering high, he makes it work out. Um, I guess he mixes up. Absent page. 
Uh, and then Patriots under stock. Barely misses a down tilt there. I don't know if that's just unfortunate spacing by Triple R or good spacing by Aspen Page. Regardless, he closes out the stock. Uh, let's see. So again, they're two stocks apiece. Neither of them really wants to drop the lead. Oh, that was a really good back air. Uh, down air is a little risky if you don't, or if you aren't absolutely certain that you can hit the Firefox with it. Uh, Triple R, I'm sure, has practiced this way more than I have, and so he's a lot more confident in just hitting that dare right away than I am. I probably would have just like done a drop zone bear from there um, after grabbing ledge from invincibility, but that could have risked stage spiking the fox. So overall, really good idea to go for the dare there if you can hit it. Uh, Triple R going for a reaction test chase. I'm absolutely certain that he meant to go for another detail there and just actually for a throw. That's unfortunate. Um, so another thing that I do that Triple R just doesn't really do is turn to stone to get down to ledge safely and conserve jumps without, uh, causing myself too many issues, uh, or worry, worrying too much about Fox shocking me. Triple R opts to not use stone and makes it a lot harder than himself than he needs to to get back down, but again, for the most part, he makes it work. Uh, goes for a fair grab, generally a decent option. He correctly calls out Apps Page going perfectly straight and actually gets the bear this time, which is what he meant to do a couple stocks ago, but actually gets the timing right this time. And almost got a really meaty reward for it, but unfortunately couldn't close out the stock uh, just then. Uh, and you see, again, uh, Apps Page going for some very careful dash dancing. Triple R is actually trying to stay a little more on top. So this is, like, I think also pretty important to point out. So Triple R is trying to be on top of Absent Page just a little more than he has been when they've been even on the stocks, but when Absent Page has had the stock lead, he's been more comfortable shooting lasers. Now that Triple R has the percent lead in his last stock, Triple R is trying to stay relatively close to Absent Page and not give him the breathing room to actually shoot those lasers. And Absent Page knows that if he shoots lasers that he's not going to be able to reliably hit Triple R without risking... Um, getting bared or something himself, so very, very cautious play by Absent Page at this point. Triple R reads the roll in, Absent Page is mashing for his life, and Triple R does close it out with a back air, finally. So, Triple R's on the board. Uh, yeah. I'll take this down there to get a drink of water. I think there's only one more game in this set. Alright, so they go. Again, Yoshi's story. Again, Triple R going for grabs, tilts, and forward airs to kind of get some early damage on Fox. Uh, waiting like that against Fox is almost never the correct idea. Really good recovery by Triple R there. Uh, despite not being super proficient at wall teching, Triple R does make Kirby's recover work with some uh, fast fall, double jump timing mix-ups and spacing mix-ups and good use of air dodges. Um, regardless, he drops an early stock there. He goes for a short hop bear. Drills in place. I actually really like that. That covers a medium-length wave dash from Fox and most things that Fox can do out of that wave dash. Uh, I like the idea to go for the forward air into bear there, but unfortunately, she, Triple R just barely mistimes it. Uh, down tilt works very well on Yoshi's, and he calls out the timing and angle of the Firefox. Uh, Absent Page could have made it back if he angled the Firefox lady differently, but Triple R was, I guess, expecting him to go for ledge, and the, uh, the mix-up paid off. Uh, so clips him with the up B a little bit there, gets a whopping 2% damage. Uh, Triple R almost sd there, back airs that ledge to try to kind of catch Absent Page slipping, but Absent Page is ready for it, and then he grabs ledge as soon as he realizes that Triple R has to burn his up B. Uh, probably could have air dodged. That's, okay. You know, I honestly thought that, like, um, I never, never noticed Triple R really do th this much before, but apparently Triple R, even back in 2015, was already doing single hit fair into bear. Uh, so yeah, really good option. Um, get some good damage, it's kind of sets up a tech trap or an edge guard situation, depending on Fox's position. Overall, really good. Actually canceled bear, uh, kind of just burns a lot of jumps. I don't know what he's going for there. He didn't even throw over to hitbox. I assume that's either, uh, a mistake or a missed input or something like that. Um, Triple R is also down throwing Absent Page a lot, which Absent Page I don't think has missed a single tech, uh, off the D throw yet, so I really like to see, uh, or have seen Triple R go for a few more up throws, because it does like 3% more damage, and it's just generally a better throw if they're not missing techs on D throws, which Absent Page isn't. Uh, and you know, Triple, Absent Page is just kind of charging into Triple R, kind of not even going for, uh, shield pressure at this point, just throwing out high priority, or if that's, a uh, terrible, to use, but just 
uh, hitboxes that generally are spaced around and out, uh, out disjoint Kirby's own hitboxes. Uh, good SDI on the upper there. Triple R has probably got like one or two hits in there. That's really smart falling forward here to there to catch a lot of different things Fox could have done for closeout and edge guard. Goes for a shine spike, uh, a little bit of a wall jump there. Very greedy by Absent Page. Ooh, he accidentally gets the slow get up. That can't be intentional. That was in. Even though he didn't get uh, anything super good off of it, that was an amazing wave dash in turnaround F tilt. Just like right here. That was insanely good by Triple R. And if that. I also like the near that he went for there. Um, so just think about what it could have been. That F tilt. Plus, that Nair could have been the stock if things worked out slightly differently. So, the mix-up uh, wave dash in. F-tilt there knocked Fox off stage. He correctly calls out the side B with a Nair. This is actually a really good option. Unfortunately, Triple R does hit with the back side of Nair. So, Absent Page gets hit toward the stage rather than away from it. If that hit it away from stage, that would have almost certainly hit Fox at a point below the stage where he was forced to use an up B and it would have been an easy edge guard from there. Uh, but, alas, he does not quite get that. Um, don't really know why he's throwing out forward errors there, or absent pages, but... Uh, yeah, Triple R's got, like, one good hit left in him. Oh, that was a really good catch. Uh, and he... So, that was also really good by absent page. So, Triple R forward errors him into the stage. Absent page checks it. He tries to jump up immediately. Triple R realizes that Absent Page has to jump up immediately to get back because he's not going to burn a Firefox when he has a double jump. So he forward errors the st edge of the stage preemptively again. He clips Absent Page. Um, he didn't really have time to grab ledge just based on his positioning there. Um, so really all he had time to do here was down smash. The only other thing he may have been able to do was jump straight up and call out the straight up angle from the Firefox and bear him. But down smash... Covered almost everything Fox could do, um, but it did give him the opportunity to hit tech, which it did on top of Triple R missing the iframes. Um, so, slightly lesser known fact is that Kirby does have invincible feet for I think the first two or three frames of his down smash, and Triple R hit either the Firefox was too close to Kirby or he didn't get like the first couple frames of down smash, so he did get burnt by the Firefox and almost died because of it. Uh, okay, so Triple R actually does go for a rock. I don't really see him do that all that much. Um, to recover to the stage. So, good on him. Uh, yeah, and then Gaps and Page does a good recovery mix-up. Basically, he just SDs there. Uh, really unfortunate. Triple R might go for some cheese here. I probably would at least try to do that if, I, if this were me. Uh, up tilt from Fox will kill Triple R at this point. Oh, that's such a... Oh! Okay, I, I like what he went for there. Um... So that forward air, that invincible reverse forward air from ledge is a really good option to kind of catch Fox doing exactly what Absage was doing there. Um, I like, uh, so this is what I was saying, like this last talk where this happened. Uh, instead of going for a down smash, he goes for a bear to kind of just barely clip Fire Fox. Honestly, that looked like it would have burned him otherwise, but uh, he actually does manage to clip it since he doesn't quite snap to ledge. Um, if I were in this position, I would have grabbed ledge and then done an invincible drop zone bear as this would have been much safer. Um, Triple R is also shown to be proficient with down air, so down air may have also been another option. To be totally fair, um, inhale would have worked if he had spaced it just a little bit differently, but the problem here, and I'm actually very surprised that that missed. It was just very barely out of aerial inhale range. The problem is if absent phase just went straight up here, it could have just killed Kirby outright, and so this was not a guaranteed inhale even if Triple R had spaced it properly, whereas something like Dare may have still traded, but it probably would have killed absent page before Triple R died off the top, and like I said, grabbing the edge to get an invincible drop zone bear would have been the safest move yet. Uh, so, Triple R kind of threw that away at the last second, but it was still a very good set overall. Um, yeah, and like, you know, even five years later, this set kind of still holds up. Uh, Triple R doing a lot of very smart things with Kirby, and just in general, um, making a lot of good decisions. Um, something that I always notice about Triple R's playstyle, like again, I think I said this at the beginning of the video, but he's never been the most technical player, he's not much of a ledge dasher or a wall tacker or a shield dropper or anything like that. He just plays really smart and really good neutral and he knows his confirms and he doesn't really drop much 
of the uh, punishes and edge guards that he goes for. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, good stuff from Triple R, and this has been my very rough analysis, and now I'm going to upload this and go back and analyze my analysis and see how I can do better analyses in the future. But hopefully this has been at least somewhat insightful for some of you, and I think we'll just call it here. So, alright, that's it. See y'all.